More than a year later, looking at Matt Reeves' The Batman Now, there are definitely good and bad things about the film. The film isn't perfect. No film is. Controversial opinion, I know. Starting with the negatives, there could have been more time spent with Alfred to flesh out his character and to flesh out his relationship with Bruce. Because there's this one scene where he nearly dies and Bruce and him have an emotional moment in the hospital. I didn't really feel the impact of that scene. And I didn't really feel like it hit as hard as it could have. That's why I wish we had more time spent with Alfred before nearly killing him. I also wish we got more scenes with Riddler without his mask. Paul Dano has a really emotive face and he's a great actor. But I just wish we got to see more of his face because he most a lot of emotion out of that. And I also just want to see that beautiful Paul Dano face, baby. I also think that the runtime can be intimidating, being nearly three hours long which it does drag around the end where there's what feels like three different endings and not one whole satisfying ending. One of those scenes included a tease for Joker, which could have been cut from the film, won't mind. Or I believe the best case scenario is trimming the now deleted scene with Joker and Batman and putting that in the film and putting with putting the scene with him and Riddler. It should have been all or nothing with putting Joker in this film not this in-between which feels more forced than anything else. Also a nitpick would be that the sound design for the Hannah Hand fights weren't great because I didn't really feel the impact of those punches and hits. I wish, I wish it was like Netflix's Daredevil where you can hear and feel those punches really impact and hit the body.